I think that fat rabbit ate one fourth of my dinner. Curse you, big chungus! This is before eating. Scooped food to one side about an inch from the rim and boom, a bunch of air. What a rip off. Well, now we know why it's called fat rabbit because it's okay to body shame if they keep stealing your food. Now I'm trying to cut back personally on eating too much per meal, but 284 grams, that's already very little. Don't be surprised if they start using heavier plastic for the bowls. Dinner fell out when I opened the back to unload. Before even going into the image, I've just got to say, this is the most con convoluted way to say, I did a poo. But it wasn't a human this time, it was a car. And I would send that car to a mechanic. Look at that, hardly even digested. What is wrong with its intestines? Looks like you could just pick it up and have a second serving yourself. Yes, that's right, I'm, <laughs> I'm suggesting and implying that you eat car poo. The design of this dental floss. It's so hard to grab the floss initially. I was gonna question why it's black. Like, is this premium dental floss? But then I've realized, oh, it's charcoal. Pro tip, if you wanna know if someone avoids or never goes to the dentist, check to see if they have any charcoal products. You see, charcoal is about as effective at making your teeth healthy and white as using a fruit peeler on your bare skin because you wanna make it a little more red. I mean, you'll achieve it, yes, but it's not good. But who am I to judge? Yeah, maybe body horror is your fashion. We came back and only the front windshield of our car was foggy. No other car was similar. <laughs> Why? Okay, um, correct me if I'm wrong. I accept the villainous hate in the comments if I am incorrect about the science here. But that usually happens when the car on the inside was hot versus the cold on the outside, as if there was some body heat in the car for some time beforehand. Like maybe, I don't know, was your car unlocked and maybe some homeless people decided to have a wrestling match? I'm just saying. Uh, clean your interior. Interiors. Go, go get the professional clean. Ordered extra butter. And as we know, extra butter, two plus two equals zero. Good maths. That's why I work in fast food. No hate on people watching this video who actually do work in fast food. That was, yep, I'm, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. My best friend's son buried my drink. Oh, so many theories behind this. Was the kid playing pirate? Did they see this drink you and the dad always drink and say, ooh, that must be treasure. It's so valuable. They're always drinking it. Did he think it was a plant? And if I plant it, it will grow bigger and then dad will hold me instead. Or is he just freaking weird? Either way, enjoy that slight crunch as you have a sip. Just let your mind wander into that experience, that sensation as you drink a nice refreshing beverage and that little crunch rolls into your teeth. When I first saw this, I thought it was a joke. Sadly, it is not. I don't understand why this even exists. I, I lost some of my hope for humanity when I saw this. There is no need for this product to exist. What's worse is that they have this listed under Earth Day merch. Disposable bottles. What the frick? Oh, the moment it said disposable bottles, I knew it was this. Gluten-free diet water. If you are genuinely appeased by this product, please do the third letter but get rid of the T. If you are appeased by this product because you're just a chaotic neutral, well, screw you. Airbnb guests are blocking half of my driveway, making it extremely difficult to reverse out. Would you look at that? A parking inspector's wet dream. So plump and ignorant of its space occupying the driveway. <laughs> I bet they never even checked the parking meter hours. Ooh, so reckless. I just have to slap you with a ticket. Ooh, yeah. You like that, you uh, filthy Tesla? I don't know what that car is. I work at a gym that's open late, and every night I try to put away all the weights 10 minutes before we close. And every night after we close, some schmucks leave every corner like this. Yeah, forget the shopping trolley theory. I think we should do a weights theory. That one is just even worse. I mean, if you can lift like five of these things, how come you can't even put one of them away? This is why I'm so thankful I go to a gym where you actually actually get fined if you're caught on camera not putting weights away properly enough. I could put this back properly, but I work in the study council. I don't work in the designing. That's on them. Also, now it's an open gate for bugs to cross through because the bugs don't like to crawl on these lines. So, you know, now they can have an easy passageway. If anything, I'm even better for doing this because I'm considering the migration patterns of bugs. <laughs> Do they have migration patterns? That's something to look up. I can't solve this capture. I don't even know what it means. Guess I'm a bot? <laughs> 
clouds. Please click each image containing a horse made of clouds. Let's see, we got a horse, a uh, claws, a uh, hound, a horse, hound, elephants, horse, a horse, and a cloud horse. This looks like a capture company has tried applying a bit of the Dali AI into their system, and I am um, I'm scared for it. Crooked hotel room toilet. I guess you could say this shoddy bathroom architecture has really changed my perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Get it because because it's at a slight angle, so the uh, view perspective of the bathroom's different. It's funny. Better forget the ice. Hey, don't forget the ice. It's out of service. Not here. Go somewhere else. Just saying, though. Don't forget it, but don't get it here. Because we don't want it. We don't want to sell it to you because you're stinky. We don't like you. Go away. Ah, yes. The iconic quote. Do you serious? <laughs> Well, come on, tell me, do you serious? <laughs> Why has he got this accent? I'm the Joker, baby! Also, may bite magic. I don't think you should be proud to have your label on this. A fine American education. January, February, February March, April, April, May, June, 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 June August. Uh, nah, no, May 1st. Screw you, Julia, sick of your shit. Augustus, I'm before nah. you. Yeah? I'll start with an A. What? That's the first letter in the alphabet. No! That's the rules now. That's not the rules. Shut up, January. I'm coming for you next. I don't want to be next to Sam. Septic? It's September. And you smell like septic. Point stands. Sneha had a technical issue. We're transferring you to a new associate. Please wait. Seriously? Buduk Gajala has joined and will be ready to chat in just a minute. You're just gonna keep bouncing me from one agent to the other? Gajala uh. had a technical issue. We're transferring you to a new associate. Please wait. Again? Buduk Gajala has joined and will be ready to chat in just a minute. Hello? Gajala had a technical issue. We're transferring you to a new associate. Associate, please wait. But up, sweetie has joined and will be ready to chat in just, just a minute. Just throwing me from one agent to the other. I think what's worse is this entire kerfuffle is happening at three in the morning. Just, you know, take that into account of their absolute just rage. The amount of trash left at my apartment by workers today. I see this often at renovation site spaces. Like, you ha you bring so much equipment, so many tools, so many things to utilize and make the work easier and more safe and comfortable to do. You don't think about bins? Surely you'd think about bins. But no, how can you blame them? It's not like they're working somewhere that, you know, has a lot of people living and coming and going where they need to be throwing trash out themselves, like, you know, like as if they were working in an apartment. This lifts to levels 1, 2, 8, and 4. Take additional notice to the fact the phones seem to be talking to each other. Can't tell if you want to close the lift doors or just have the entire lift rotate. That'll be a fun experience. But hey, where do you need to go to? The shops? Well, that's specific. If you're blind, well, I'm sorry, but you're only going to one level. The way this outside light was installed at my aunt's house. <laughs> This is akin to like my effort in building a Minecraft house. That is <laughs> whole like done. It's not even a clean job at the very least. Like they literally have just hammered in the ceiling. Resale value, no, no, I'm fine. I don't need to worry about that when it comes to investments. When the person loading the vending machines is an idiot. Uh, <laughs> excuse your smelly face. I believe you mean to say generous? Like a uh, hell yeah, I'll take up that special offer of buy one, get three free. Making a last minute pharmacy run, and this is what I see in the elevator. This is why I'll never want to live or work in some sort of high rise building. Just too many buttons, too many choices. But then you got this one where, okay, the numbers are fine. Hooray, finally, an elevator gets their numbers right. But oh, never mind. Still gotta have some problem with the lighting. I mean, what's going on? Do you have to keep pressing a certain button to keep it active, or is it like, what? Why is this? Why is there colors? Trying to see if I won. Oh boy, lottery numbers. Here we the go. California State Lottery website is temporarily unavailable due to maintenance, downtime, or high demand. Or high demand? Gee, I wonder why it's almost as if you're a freaking lottery! This reminds me of the time back in 2017 when Australia's census went online for the first time. No more giant blocks of paper sent by the mail. No, every Australian citizen can just fill out this form online instead. And the company setting it up assured the government that yes, over 24 million can access this website. It's fine! We tested it with only 1 million at a time every hour. So yeah, it'll be fine to have a set time that the website's open and have everyone able to access it. Like, come on, CA Lottery. You knew there'd be high demand. You should be prepared for this. We manually picked the numbers. So freaking close. 7, 24, 60, 62, 60.
68. What were the numbers? 7. Yay! 29. Ah. 60. Yay! 63. Ah. 66. Ah. That is by far the closest dangling carrot I've ever seen. Only this carrot is literally worth 1.4 million. Oh, no, wait. Is it 464 million? I mean, either way, that's a lot of money you've missed out on because you slightly were off. You can only hope that your bad luck is equally as close of a close call. Breakfast gone wrong part two. Rotten milk. Question is, are you still allowed to cry even though no milk has been spilt? Answer, yes, you can. <laughs> How my wife all organizes her money while playing Monopoly. Oh geez, that's that's clearly a psychological tactic in the game right there. She knows what she's doing. She's throwing you off your game, man. You're getting distracted. I mean, she's right next to the bank as well. Oh gosh, those notes ain't gonna stay neat for long. I got 491 messages just saying lol at midnight for no reason. P.S. I haven't talked to this dude in like two months. Lol. You have to individually select each one when you want to delete them too, don't you? That's... I mean, why bother at that point, you know? My yard compared to my neighbor's yard in a brand new neighborhood. Yes, that's spilled oil and a tub of oil. So on the right side is OP, as we can see, the nicely uh, light gray gravel there. Bit of, bit of puddle of dirt, but otherwise looking sheen. Meanwhile, the next door neighbors are just waiting for you to cross them so they can accidentally spill this massive tub of oil all over your property. Oh, whoopsie. I mean, is that even allowed? Like, legal? That is oil. Just oil. What? Uh, you know, it's stupid safety hazards like this that make me not surprised that there are things like the FDA uh, attacking people who are unsafely making pink sauce in their kitchens as like some legitimate product. I know my laptop is old, but this is ridiculous. Spamming the warranty checker every 15 minutes. Wait, hang on. So it can't be changed? You can't just turn it off? Ready at 5.36 p.m. on the 11th of the 11th, 2022. After triggered, repeat every 15 minutes indefinitely. Trigger expires on this day. Oh, well, that's nice. It expires eventually in 10 years. <laughs> Just 10 years of 15 minute interruptions. That's all, I can handle that. There goes my sanity already. Man, just let me have it. There are some days God likes to really pick on someone individually. Today was you. It was your turn, your turn to suffer. Feel rejoiced, young child, for God has chosen you. He has chosen you for his wicked games and tomfoolery. Friendly reminder though, that he extends this daily punishment upon you for each time you say his name in vain. So <laughs> I imagine you would have said his name in four times at least. Was excited to read my new book, but there was a misprint and it's missing the first 26 pages. Hang on, <laughs> a misprint or just a failure of a product? I mean, I get a misprint of maybe, you know, a word having another letter over it or something like that. You know, a little minor things. This is a bit major. It's like buying a car, but having no steering. You kinda need that. I guess you could get your money back, but you know what they say, payback's a witch. It's okay, mega boss. I did didn't need to charge my phone. Oh, wowee, is that genuinely where they expect you to be able to plug in your phone to charge it? You know, a lot of these actually remind me more of r slash DIY, but I feel in a way, things that are terribly made do genuinely become mildly infuriating anyway. This pill packaging. There were happy nonchalant faces, and then you punch them, and now they're all sad and disheveled faces. Gosh, you even broke some of their noses, you monster, just so you could get your drug fix. Don't you see you're hurting everyone around you with your addiction? I have a cold. Well, it's hurting everyone, so stop, stop it! Stop my cold? Yes! Cause it's a thing you can do, I think. It came like this. Freaking hell. Oh, damn. Uh, oh, guys, quick, he's opening the box. Oh, <laughs> Just like Toy Story. Or I guess in this case, more like Sausage Party, in which case I'm now very horrified by why there's all this sticky goo stuff on the ceiling. Oh, and one of them looks like they had their entire top torn off. So, <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh God, this is Sausage Party. I think I've lost my love for pizzas now. The condition these plants are being sold in. I'm not gonna say I'm a plant expert. I have no idea idea how to take care of plants, I, they die on me. That's why I named 
named my last one Hopes and Dreams. But even I can tell this is no, that's a dead product. Bye bye, in the bin you go. Hope you had a nice life. It, no, you didn't. Let's be honest, you didn't. Neighbors Chihuahua poops in the middle of the walkway. So much space, so much ample opportunity to direct your little big dog that's not big to the grassy area. Take a little part in mother nature and help fertilize that freshly grown grass. I mean, if the OP knows it was definitely their chihuahua, like do you have other chihuahuas in the place you're living? It's pretty obvious whose tiny poop this is. At this point, just double down. Poop in front of all of your neighbor's doors. And no, I don't mean the dog doing it. You do it. So Hey, look, you don't care about them anyway. Self-respect. Who needs that? OP, please be like a tenant trying to teach their fellow housemates how to clean up after themselves and just throw it into their own bedroom. Pringles I paid $6 for with the $12 voucher American Airlines gave me after cancelling my flight. Yo, hey, my $12 voucher? I'm going to assume that's on top of rescheduling your flight. But I mean, come on. American Airlines already screwed you over. You don't need Pringles to follow suit. I swear, this is why they purposely don't sell them in bags because you can't squeeze to tell how much is just air. And yes, I know there's meant to be a bit of a science behind it as to why there's some space in the bags. But shut up. No, I hate it, okay? The amount of red to blue warheads in this pack. Who's gonna win? Red versus blue. Answer is us, because this is a great excuse for us to be able to sell our blue ones faster. No one likes them, and now, neither will you. To be fair, you should have seen this coming by the design of the packaging. I mean, clearly the line doesn't go fully halfway across the packaging. It's mostly blue. So, understandably... <laughs> There's far less red. I know that's a terrible justification, but so is the reason your ex dumped you and you've learned to accept that. I am sorry, that is such a mean dick. <laughs> Menu log offers support, then immediately takes it back. Hi, how can I help you? My order was missing some of it. The Big Mac meal wasn't delivered. I'm sorry to hear about that. Let me help you with this. Oh, it looks like I haven't received any response from no, you. I'm I'll here. have to end this no, chat I'm now. Here, but no, if you, you can... still need assistance, please feel free to chat with I us again and we'll be happy. Help help. Have a great day! Hey! Infuriating level, mild. The existence of those arrows when the carts are meant to be returned on the left. Please place carts next to this car over here. It's where my ex-wife parks regularly. She always pestered that returning the shopping cart made you a better person. So please prove me right that this world sucks and she's wrong to think positive in any way. What do you mean hating things isn't a personality? You sound just like my ex-wife. When a bag full of cat litter rips. Haha, <laughs> nope, nope. Bike room etiquette is apparently a lost art. Okay, not gonna lie. How the hell else does anyone fit their bikes in here anyway? Like I'm seeing a max seven or eight actual wall racks for bikes, and you've definitely got more than eight bikes here. It's one in the morning. But up the what would nerdy Shrek look like? Oh, try the prompt nerdy Shrek to find out. Hey, would you like to keep receiving notifications from the turn off? Now turning off the ability to turn off notifications. Oh. New shirt came without a buttonhole punched in. It all started with those deconstructed lattes and now the clothing industry is jumping on board. For the exact same price, you too can get a deconstructed shirt. No, no, it's great. You see, you can apply the hole as much as you want to. After all, that's why you buy these deconstructed variations of things, right? To not get a professional and trained person to do it for you. This happy birthday sign for my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, where's T? We've banned him from our functions. He's too dramatic. Aww. Lock screen only lets you thumb down songs. No skipping either. Oh, you don't like this song? No. Oh, okay. oh that's a shame. Yeah, can I oh, skip? you don't like this song, but you have to keep listening uh, to it. Yep, oh, can. that's a shame. Sorry, fathers. You aren't parents. Parent room. Order by Centennial Plaza. This room is for mothers and babies only. Please do not use for any other purpose. And don't forget to smile. You are on the hallway camera. Not sure how to feel about that reminder when you've barked an order at me, but okay. Hey, go serve some customers. Okay. I could wear your skin like a suit if I wanted to. What? Customers. Yeah, oh, okay. I have no doubt that the reason it only says mothers and babies is because some mother complained that a dad was being a dad in there. You know, taking care of a child. Just because the man in your life sucks doesn't mean everyone else's does. Thank you for this $6 ice cream, Sonic. <laughs> Oh, hang on. That is betrayal. Don't you be telling me they're adding air to ice cream now. <laughs> 
the uh, French doing their revolution again? Yeah, let's just do that. We've all seen bathrooms like these. Oh, how romantic. It's like they're two atoms in a space of atoms, constantly out of reach from one another, but finally they break the rules and meet. Pretty sure this kind of thing happens in a nuclear explosion, but hey, that's what love is, you know? It's explosive and radiates among the mass population into a sense of hair loss, cancers, radioactive poisoning, and mass death. You know, love, essentially. Trying to update my address on the Grubhub app. State, Colorado. City, Colorado Sporangas. Please input a city using only letters. Oh, I've spelled it wrong. Colorado Springs. Please input a city using only letters. But that's how it's spelled! Steam Deck at CEX going for 331 pounds above the cost to buy brand new. There's got to be a story behind someone here getting completely scammed. Because either they think someone's dumb enough to think that because, what, this isn't being a huge sellout nowadays, it's kind of like, a, you know, a unique product. Or some schmuck working here genuinely believed someone when they said that this was valued far more than it actually is. Either way, it's fun to see that sometimes these secondhand stores are as legitimate as Facebook Marketplace. I need to get a hard drive. Crisis 3. Installation stopped. You had zero bytes remaining of your 5.89 gigabyte installation, as apparently your storage does not fit this. How did this, how did you achieve this? Don't they actually measure this first before they install and then say you can't fit the space? I, what? You basically walk through a door without opening it. How did you manage this? Two women pushing strollers side by side in the street. Yes, there are sidewalks. Yes, that is a man walking around his car on the other side. No, no, you don't understand. These women are mothers. They have gone through seriously what is probably the most horrific, painful experience a human can experience. And thus they are entitled to the space that is designed purely for cars that move very fast on the road, which then justifies them to bring their children onto it, their babies, onto the space that is used by most motor vehicles traveling large speeds. Absolute mothers of the year right here. It's funny because you know they'd complain about someone recklessly driving around them as if that's the thing to sulk about and not, you know, the fact you have your child on this road. Here's a new one. Supply chain surcharge. Fascinating. Applying drip pricing in any new way or form you can. We'd like to punish you, the customer, for using our successful business chain, as well as deter you from ever shopping again with this franchise owner. It's the least we can do here at Mission on the Bay to say, screw you. Created an Instagram account and it got suspended the second I created it. What the frick? Well, what the hell do you think, man? Uh, traffic on their platform? How dare you? Creating more space on their social media for engagement. <laughs> what is are you out of your mind? You deserve to be cancelled. I hope you never get your account back. Crooked zipper teeth. Can't unzip my trip pants legs. It's, oh, it's things like this that make me so pedantic when I'm buying clothes. I'm like inspecting them with a fine tooth comb for any like dirtiness on them or just misdone stuff like this. Misdone's a word, shut up. Like I wish I developed the sewing skills to be able to fix something like this myself. I'd imagine I'd save so much more money doing it. But I don't know, I think I'm just having a lot more fun with my other skills that are not bothering to. I'm just trying to refund two tickets. Ooh, buddy, and they do do not want you to. This is this is the long game, folks. The, forget Avengers Endgame. This is the long game. Nothing more mightier of a villain than a big company who will do whatever they can to avoid giving you your money back. No doubt the moment you said you were looking to get a refund due to your situation, which was legitimate and excusable for them to have to give you a refund, they put you at like the bottom of the barrel in terms of call service. You're not ignored. No, no, it's just that you're not priority. Yes, that's business smart talk. Three-tiered anniversary cake was too hot when we got it and fell apart in the box. Methinks they need to re-evaluate their little delivery strategy here. I mean, you'd know what's going into the cake. You know the temperature would affect the cake. On the bright side, at least now you've technically got three cakes. Who does this in a public toilet and expects the next person to take care of it? Oh lordy, are we... <laughs> Is this when we finally see poop on the subreddit? <laughs> I comprehend the strategy. What I don't comprehend, though, is the logic of not 
putting it all away afterwards. Like, oh, well done. You've made sure the toilet's cleaned after using it yourself. Well, uh, the, the toilet paper isn't clean now, so maybe get rid of that. But even then, what a waste of paper. You could just wipe down the seat. Now, obviously, dry toilet paper only does so much, but that's why there's a bit of water always left in a toilet. So you can dip the toilet paper in that, makes it nice and damp, and then you can wipe it along the seat. It's like a damp cloth. It just helps wipe it down a bit better. And I'm joking. Please don't do that. Obviously, if you want to save toilet paper, just try to avoid using it. I'm just saying, use your hands as much as you can. Toilet paper technically can't go up your butthole like a finger can. That is also a joke, not health advice, dear God. That is not health advice. Towels changed color in less than two years. I couldn't figure out why I bought them. They don't match anything anymore. I found the extra one today. Oh, wow. So wait, which one was the original? Which was your choice of color? I'm hoping you originally chose the one on the right because the one on the left looks like it's dead. Neighbors who don't break down boxes. This one box reaches to the bottom of the trash can. Do, do they think it's the responsibility of the garbage crew to do this or something? I mean, if they're buying such big boxes off Amazon, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they have that sort of ignorance. Also, what are they buying off Amazon for that size? Brides? People who leave live goldfish in a plastic tub on the street in the middle of winter here in Australia. <laughs> Australia, mate, what are we doing? Because everyone walking around in public just happens to have some space to hold a, a fish. Also, Geelong Road, I'm assuming this is in Victoria, which is our southernmost state and the coldest, but also sometimes the hottest. It's Australia, we make no sense. Either way, I guarantee within 24 hours of this being posted, those fish are dead. If not from the temperatures, definitely from the quality of that tub. Like, wow, that it already looks like a disgusting pile of moss. The fact that this person decided to use trending hashtags to make their uninteresting tweet reach more people. I decided to revamp my sister's jean trousers. I also made the wrap top. Let's see, hashtag ladies, hashtag hustle, uh, hashtag Prince William affair, because these jeans are scandalous. <laughs> Commonwealth Games, because I gave it my absolute all to make sure people looked at my tweet. And save Minicraft. I like that store. It has a lot of nice things to make stuff with. This three-year-old box of cereal I got from the grocery store this week. Didn't notice the date until I was going to open it. Just your daily reminder to never trust the company to do their own stock check properly in a large grocery store. Those people are guaranteed not earning a decent wage to actually care that much. The way my boyfriend opened the coffee. Oof. Oh, oh lordy. He's your ex, right? Please.